Okay, hi everyone. This is a quick tutorial on how you can make light mods, lighting mods uh, work with big overhauls like Skyrim Radioactive. In this case, both mods, ELFX and Skyrim Radioactive, are changing same interior cells, which are taverns and shops around Skyrim. And uh, what you get without patching this is uh, light blinking, overly bright or dark interiors and I'm gonna show you how to easily make ELFX work with the Skyrim Radioactive. What you need to make sure that uh, the lighting mods we are changing are loading before Skyrim Radioactive because we are not changing Skyrim Radioactive at all. We are only changing ELFX. Uh, there are other like modules for ELFX but these are the two that change the same mods, uh, same cells with Skyrim Radioactive. So Skyrim Radioactive uh, needs to load after the lighting mods. It could be some other mod that changes a lot of uh, ins uh, and other interior cells in Skyrim, but at, at this ca case Skyrim Radioactive because it's in the hot files and a lot of people are asking for compatibility. So you load all the three mods up, select none, get the mods, where are they? Weird load order. And there we go. Load all three mods to test 5 edit. You don't have to worry about uh, all the major ESMs. Edit will pick them up for you. You see, it picked up Skyrim ESM and update ESM. The uh, loader is finished. Now we're gonna have to tell uh, test 5 edit what mo changes these mods are doing to the vanilla game and we do that by applying the cleaning fil filter. Apply filter for cleaning. Okay so now we have the filter up and we need another script run on this. Uh, select all the three one mods. You can hold control and click each one or you can hold shift and select all three at the time. Uh, apply script for conflict status. This will check which cells these two mods are conflicting with. Well, three ESPs, two mods. Uh, it should take quite as long as the cleaning filter, and soon we should have some sort of report on the, on the mods. And that's my cat in the background. She thinks I'm talking to her. Okay, now the red ones are conflicts with these three mods. There can also be conflicts with uh, enhanced lights and effects ESP and ELFX and enhancer ESP. Don't don't mind about those. What we do know is the the, the guard barracks are not changed by Skyrim Radioactive. It only overhauls shops and taverns and uh, places like that. So we're not going to touch guard barracks. We're going to find the next conflict areas. As you can see everything is red so we can easily find the correct locations instead of going through every subblock to find the changes. That we can pick up pretty easily where the changes are. Now we have found the first one. So all you have to do is right click and remove. And yes, you are absolutely sure you want to remove that one. After this, ELFX is no longer affecting the Nukenis Corner Club, so Skyrim Radioactive can have its lighting settings take over. You can also just select one and pr press delete. Blacksmith quarters are affected by radioactive, so we're removing that. Uh, Belethor's shop is also one of those overhauls. Remove that. Because uh, Skyrim Radioactive moves light sources like candles and lanterns around, so its lighting has to take over these cells. Otherwise, it will look stupid like this huge ball of lighting in the middle of a room when there's no light sources causing it. Uh, Sardrin's used wares and Elgrim's elixirs. We just remove those. All of these are shops overhauled by Skyrim Radioactive, so we're gonna clean them up from ELFX. Okay, this cauldron. As you see, it takes like few minutes. Shopping Markov. Gone. Alchemy store. Markov. Clean up. 
Uh, here's another conflict with the two ELFX ESPs. We don't want to remove this. This has nothing to do with Skyrim Radioactive. Just leave it at that. War Maidens was overhauled. And there you have it. There's no more reds for uh, Skyrim Radioactive in Enhanced Lights and Effects. Now we can move on to the Enhancer. I'm pretty sure there's not many records there, but we'll check it anyway. It, it does appear that both of these mods change the same cells, so we're just gonna remove it all because we want Skyrim Radioactive to take over. That's in the inn in Windhelm. Blacksmith quarters, ELFX can go. No, we don't want you touching those cells. You can also hold control and select two at a time, delete them, or you can open up all these red ones and select them all if you want. It's, it's very quick once you figure it out. Horn Prone was also overhauled in Skyrim Radioactive, so I'm removing that. And the last one, Hax Cure. The orange one is again the Red Belly Mine, which we don't care about. Now we've revamped both ELFX ESPs. And if you, if you know any other ESPs that are conflicting with Skyrim Radioactive, you can do the same thing. Uh, you can either close Test 5 Edit directly, and it will ask you to confirm to saving the files, or you can Control Save, Control S, and it will recommend you saving these two files. We're saving them. Remember to back up your files, so you can revert back to something if you, if you fucked up. I'm gonna do it again just real briefly. <coughs> what you need to do, you open the three mods, the one you don't want to change, load last, select all, apply filter for cleaning, wait 10, 20 seconds, it runs it. Uh, after you run the filter for cleaning, you do apply script, and remember you have to have the latest version of TEFS 5 edit. I don't I don't use any older versions. I don't know if conflict status even exists in the older versions. You run conflict status, takes about 10 seconds, at least with these three mods, and then you can just start picking the red uh, conflict areas that have something to do with Skyrim Radioactive with, uh, with the remove part. The green ones in Test 5 Eddy are changes to vanilla items and the black ones are something that are added by the mod they are not conflicting or changing anything existing they are adding something new and the green ones are the green ones are changed objects so for example you can see enhanced lights and effects changes weather it changes words world spaces it changes a few um, mountain items so yeah you just you just you don't like something. I don't like the weather changes that ELFX is doing. I'm just going to remove this whole bunch. There you go. It's it's gone. And now you just close thing, confirm saving, and that's it. I'm not using ELFX for my game, so I don't mind doing doing big changes to it. So that's it. If you have any questions, just leave a comment in the video comment section, and I'll try to get back to you. Cheers.